The third part of chapter 17 is the market strategy, futures market strategy. So there are two big market strategies you may uh, choose. One is speculation, the other hedging. This is always true for derivative securities, actually. So, I mean, the speculation is fairly simple. You, short po you take a short position if you believe the price will fall, so you take the benefit from the, 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 the future price minus price at expiration date, the, the delivery date, and the long position if you believe the price will rise. So you wanna maximize this, right? That will be your profit. So easy. But to hedge, you may uh, have a little different position. So the endowment funds may purchase stocks in three months. Manager, this, the, the fund manager may buy futures now to protect against rising price. So they plan to have this stock, to have this stock in three months. I don't want to pay more than this price. I'm okay with this price, this futures price, then you can buy futures, the delivery date is three months, right? And then you just set a price. So that's long position hedging. So you set a price to buy. So you don't care if the price you know, drop below this futures price. You only care, you know, you don't want to pay higher than this. Short position hedging. So hedge fund invest in long-term bond, right? Invest like the fund manager, concern worries, interest rate may increase, right? So they basically sell futures. So they set the interest rate. So that's another way, like the, you, can, you can set a selling price, basically, selling level. So see examples. So this is speculating with the oil futures. Suppose you believe that the crude oil prices are going to increase. Oil market is all futures market, actually. Well, you might purchase crude oil futures each contract calls for the delivery of the 1,000 barrels of oil. So for every dollar increases in the price of crude, the long position gain $1,000, right? And the short position lose exactly same amount. So you can have basically the long position. Conversely, suppose you think that the price are heading lower and therefore you can have a sell, short position of this contract, oil futures. If the crude oil falls, then you, your short position gains $1,000 per dollar. So if the future price for delivery in March is 89.48, and the crude is selling for 91.48 at the contract maturity date, then long side, you make $2,000 because $2 increases, right? Short side, you lose $2,000 because $2 increases. If the oil price falls to 87.48, so it decreased, to, decreased by $2 per barrel, then long position lose $2,000, short position make $2,000. So that's basically speculation, right? You pursue the profit from the price changes. You bet on the futures price. But you could also hedge with oil futures. So now consider an oil distributor planning to sell 100,000 barrels of oil in March that wishes to hedge against the possible decline in oil prices. So you are oil distributors who want to sell the oil, 100,000 barrels in March. Your concern is, well, what if the price decreases, right? So you don't want to, you want to get hatchet against this decline in oil price. Now, because each contract calls for delivery of 1,000 barrels, you need 100 barrels, 100 contract, right? 100 times 1,000, which is uh, uh, 100,000. And you should have short position 
because you are you want to set the selling price right any decrease in oil would then generate a profit on the contract that would offset the lower sale revenue from oil so for example look at the table if you look at this table now you have 8948 and decrease by two dollars per barrel right and basically you, you sell oil for 87.48 times hundred thousand right so 8.748 million dollars will be your revenue because you sell the future so you are short position of futures you get benefit from decline in all price by two dollars two two dollars times hundred thousand so there's a two hundred thousand more profit from this short position so in total you have eight point nine four eight million dollars okay when the price is same 89.48 you still have 89 8.948 million right and if the price increase now that's a little trouble because now you make more money from selling oil because price of oil increase but you lose money because you are short position of future oil futures by 100 200,000 so eventually you have same proceeds so you basically set the proceeds for 8.9 for 8 million dollars by setting your selling price in march this is hedging because you are you avoid the risk from declining in price, right? Graphically, this is it. So you can set the hatch revenues like the, the, the blue line is the sales revenue increase with oil and the lower blue one, this is like the more uh, bright blue one is the actually profit from short position of oil futures. Now, if you're combining to get combine them together, then you have the this flat flat black line. So just the same all the time. Doesn't matter whether price increase or decreases, you have same proceeds eventually. So that's how to hedge using futures. Pretty straightforward. There is term called the basis in futures market. And basis is basically the difference between future price and spot price. It's called the basis. And there is a risk from this basis basically it's called the basis risk it's a risk from uncertain movement in spread between futures price and spot price so risk from uncertain movement of basis so you can bet on this basis too basis too Next example, you can speculate on this basis. So consider an investor holding 100 ounces of gold who is short one gold futures contracts. Okay, so one gold futures equals 100 ounces delivery, basically. Suppose that gold sell today sells for $1,191 per ounce. And the futures price for Zoom delivery is 1,196 per ounce. The base is currently $5 because 1,196 minus 1,191, right? Tomorrow, the spot price 
might increase to 1,194, and the futures price increased to a different amount, 1,198.550. So the basis now rose to what? 450. 450. So, because gold price increases, right? to $3, you have gain holding gold, but you also have a loss on gold futures position because you have short position of gold and the price increased to $2.50, right? So investor gave $3 per ounce on the gold holding and but loses $2.50 on ounce on the short futures position. So net gain equals to 50 cents. You make money actually. So, so you're holding this commodity, holding the asset with futures contract, then you can bet on this basis. Different price changes like spot versus futures. You can also sp speculate on the spread too. Consider an investor who holds the September maturity contract long and the June contract short. So spread now is the, is the uh, difference between the, the futures contract with the different a maturity. If the September futures price increased by five cents, while the June futures price increased by four cents, net gain will be you have five cents long position, four uh, four cents short position, so you have one cent. So you can actually make money from this spread. So you can bet on the basis, which is the price difference between spot and futures. You can also bet on the spread, which is the difference in of futures contracts with the same commodity, but di with different maturity. Okay. So, you know, there is a um, number of strategy you can take on using futures.